since they're not going to need it anymore. held in this storage tank wasn't terribly dangerous. Whatever liquid was held in this storage tank wasn't terribly dangerous. Oh, that jump looked painful. Not doing that.
plenty of organic materials to harvest from this world. I have things for you. I'm listening. Actually, yes, I do. Goodbye. What was long sought after is upon us. Change. Not all on Crucible will approve of what you have done, but doing what is right is seldom easy or free of difficulty. You have given us all a chance for self-determination. Maybe in time we will be worthy of going to the stars. For some of us, that will be a rude awakening. You have my enduring thanks. And any time you need safe harbor, know that Crucible is here for you. I am reminded of a proverb about being careful what you wish for. Now that we are able to start living on our own terms, I feel as though the real work is only beginning. This opportunity is a precious gift, though, and don't think I don't appreciate it. I guess we're done. You've taken the Crucible by storm, haven't you? Now that Roosevelt's the admin, I'm in the clear to hightail it out of here. What do you say? Will you take me with you? Golly, thanks. You have no idea what this means to me. I swear you won't regret it. I just need to say a couple farewells, and then I'll hit the road. See you out there. The mission is no more. I hope your arrival doesn't mean more violence. I just wish the societies could get along. We actually came from I might have some stuff you could use in stock. Of course. Pleasure talking with you.
Who cares what sick experiment Crucible was designed for? We need to escape. The Believers will win eventually. I have such plans for Crucible. It will be a wonderful. off when you are, Captain.
I'm not afraid to use this to defend my home and my family. But you sure as hell don't look like any spacer I've seen before. So let me get this straight. You heard a distress call and you flew all the way down here. What are you, some sort of priest or good Samaritan? I didn't know people like you were real, but I got a heap load of problems. And I'm willing to pay my share for the help. I don't know what game you're playing, but I guess I'm in. Used to be four families that list help set up stakes in this system. We rarely saw eye to eye in the best of times, and believe me true, these ain't the best of times. Spacers started raiding and it's been getting worse. Only a matter of time before they end us all. <laughs> Unless you're willing to help some hard-working, pig-headed settlers out. The Wens and the Bandas are farmers like me. Jacqueline Lemaire and her daughter have some mining operation with dreams of hitting it big. I've tried in the past to get us to work together, but you don't join List unless you have a healthy dollop of obstinacy. The League of Independent Settlers. Good-meaning fools happy to set colonists up in an independent space. The promise is freedom. True freedom. If you can fend off all the spacers and pirates, the settled systems can throw at you. No arguments here. The Spacers have taken out the family's list satellites, so we can't even talk to each other. Isolate and eliminate a classic tale. You fix the Lopez satellite and I'll open a secure channel and we can sync up and get the lay of the land. And then get all of our satellites operational. List set us up with some secure communication satellites. Makes it hard for Riff Raff to pick us up. Well, in theory. The other families won't respond to communications on open channels. I figure if I didn't risk the distress call, we're all dead anyway. I have. Twice. I took out the old pickup. Last time I tried, I barely made it out alive. They're using the damn satellites as bait. My ship just isn't up for facing spacers, but yours, a whole different animal. It might be I'm getting caught up in the moment, but I actually feel <laughs> optimistic for once. Thanks.
Operations is up. Sending the data on the other satellites. You do hear me, right? Hello? I figured you might. Not gonna lie, there'll be more of them ahead. It's gonna take some time dealing with someone competent. I don't suppose you want a job working hydroponics. No one ever says yes to that. <laughs> Once you repair the other satellites, I'll open a channel to the other families.
sound good. When? Please! <sighs> we may be the three families now. And... that's the last of them. Stranger! Integrity looks good. We lifting off right away, or do you need a little bit of time? Charming is ever. First things first, I'm pretty sure the spacers got the winds. No contact with them. All of them? My god. Shit. They were good people. They died. People. Because we couldn't get our act together. That's rich coming from you. You've scammed me time and time again, Alden. The spacers are a threat to us all, Jackie. And that, that is the salient point. Mistakes were made. We need to get past that. What I'm proposing is a mutual defense pact. Nothing else. Each of us throws in our ships, men, materials, and whatnot. Enough to protect all of our asses. I wouldn't give you one solitary ounce of Helium-3 if my life depended on it. The problem is, it does. I think we all need to cool off. Stranger, a word? First things first. You did an honest day's work, you deserve an honest day's pay. Here. With heartfelt compliments. But I expect you know what's coming next. We're not military folk, and I'm not ashamed to say we are out of our depth. I'll pay you more, much more. If you can help kick the spacers out of our system, for good. And coordinate our efforts to do so. Right you are. So we're not babes in the woods. Each family has a ship or two and hard men and women that can handle themselves in a firefight. But the root of the problem is, admittedly, a self-inflicted injury. My family was here first, and when Liz sent other families here, perhaps I didn't take to it kindly. Might be I made an odd credit here or there at their expense. Something Lemaire especially has never let me live down. But now we need the Lemaires and the Bandas both, I reckon. Listen, I'm not proud of what I did. But this was my system first. Then Jackie comes lately, arrives, and maybe it rubbed me wrong. But it's ancient history. We gotta evolve or war just fuel for the spacers. I wouldn't hold my breath with Jackie. The band is good folk. Well, hopefully. We need to cooperate now, but also in the future. We need a mutual defense pact. As our new mercenary commander, please talk with Band and Lemaire. Lemaire, God help us, especially we could use. Her family's got the most ships and crew by far. But if she's a lost cause, Ben and I can muddle through. Alban is a con man and a thief. 
Associating with the likes of him reflects poorly on your character. When my crew first arrived, Albin was all charm and eager to deal. It seemed like the start of a fruitful relationship. But quickly it became clear that he was grifting us. Machines we bought broke down, shipments he hauled for us went missing, and help he promised never materialized. I swore I'd never work with him again. Oh, he's lucky I'm not a vengeful woman. Might be I misjudged you. Hmm. So here's the deal. Odds are good my crew can hold out against the spacers all by ourselves. If we're gonna band together, I have the most to contribute and the most to lose. The smart play for my interests is the Lemaire's hunker down and outlast the storm. I may not be some sort of military expert, but you can't know that for certain. Well, if you're offering. Adventure is just a fancy way of... You sound very certain. Hmm. Well, you might have a point. Hmm. Fine. Let Albin know that I'm willing to try this defense pack for now. Defense Pact gives us a real chance in the future. Hello, stranger. Your work in getting the satellites up? I know it was paying work, but you here to talk? Hello, stranger. I know it was paying. You here to talk about the... Might be worth a laugh if the stakes weren't so high. I mean, I agree that right now coming together makes sense, but going forward, it's hard to imagine Jackie and Alvin working together for the long haul without one winding up with a knife in the back. If you can get those stubborn mules to work together, really together, they might be able to see the sense of this defense pack going forward. Not much of a choice, really. Well, the bandits will join the defense pack. We got one ship operational, another we can patch up. It's not much, but you'll have us when you need us. So is the defense packed in business? Come on, don't keep me in suspense. You convinced Jackie? Now I do believe in miracles. How in the hell did you manage that? Wait, words can do that? Like I said, miracles never cease. So, the sensors have picked up two contact groups, undoubtedly our spacer friends. We don't have many ships, but we can send them with you, or hold them in reserves your call. Expect more than you encountered at the satellites. How much more? Hard to say at this distance.
You got it. I'll send the long word. After you deal with the spacers, meet back on my farm. I've got an idea how to find where the spacers are based.
There's a non-zero chance that this planet once thrived with life. Ah, amazing, isn't it? Glad to hear you're back, safe and sound. Banda, you owe me 30 credits. You're tougher than I thought. Easy money. So while you were doing that, I used the communication satellites to triangulate some spaces chatter. You did what? I'm more than just a pretty face. Anyway, there's an old derelict star station the spacers are using as a base. I mean, there's a real outside chance there's a relay or something there, but these spacers aren't the most savvy of customers. I'm telling you, that's where they're holed up. Couldn't say it better myself. There are undoubtedly a lot of spacers there, both ships and men on the station itself. We need to excise this cancer from our system. Every last one of them. 100% agree. So, oh glorious leader, any words of wisdom or inspiration before we embark? So caution's the word of the day. Got it. We need to bring everything we got to bear. There won't be any do-overs on this one. We'll all be waiting for you to jump in. Get a lock and... 
Well, that was fun. Now what?
This? This is the first deep breath I've taken in months. I make no illusions. You did this. And now it's up to us to keep it going. Very diplomatic. It's horseshit, of course. But it sounded nice. The rest of the families and I, well, uh, we chipped in for a reward. I know it's probably a pittance compared to what someone like you makes. But, uh, we're just dirt poor farmers and miners just trying to get by. I... I think I need to shut up now. Don't want to get... Damn you. I... I'm not... Yeah, deep breath. If you ever are in this system, you come back and visit. We'll give you a warm welcome for the ages.
Hey, Captain. Need help with...
Sheila would be a quaint world to retire on, if the damn wildlife wasn't so hostile. To me, like you've already in pretty good. You don't keep where you're. I'll say right up. Take a gander. To meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. Ah, that'd be Solomon Coe who stuck a shovel in the ground right here over a hundred and sixty years ago. That first settlement grew to become the... ...city you see today. And let me tell you, it was no small hardship to make that dream a reality. Yes, indeed, this place has a proud and noble history. Why, for some of us, it's practically hallowed ground. That's why I like to meet each and every person who comes here. To make sure they know what a special place our city is. You're more than welcome. As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown.
The core is the oldest district and represents the original settlement dating back to the days of Solomon Co. The descendants of the original settlers still make their home there today. You've got a few choices there. The cantina in the rock is famed throughout the settled systems for serving the best brew that credits can buy. The hitching post ain't been open long, but most folks seem to like it. If you're looking for a quick drink before moving on, give it a try. Aggie's is a bit of an acquired taste, you might say. Folks who prefer a venue that's a little more rough and tumble tend to feel at home there. Like I said, lots of options. You really are new around here, aren't you? Aquila's every bit as dangerous as it is beautiful. There are creatures out there that pose a mortal danger to anyone caught out in the open. Foremost among them is the Ashtar. They're quick, strong, clever, and damn good hunters. I'd tell you more, but you might not sleep so good. Thankfully, the wall keeps them out. As long as you stay on the right side of it, you've got nothing to worry about. Ah, you must be referring to The Rock. It's home to the largest and oldest cantina in town. That's also where the Council of Governors holds its occasional strategy meetings. As mayor of the city, I have a seat on the council. The Free Star Rangers are headquartered in the upper floors. They've got the best view of the city. I like to think that means they're always keeping an eye on the rest of us. I have to say, I sleep a little easier knowing the Marshal and his rangers are up there protecting the Free Star Collective. Midtown's where most of the business and trading gets done. It's not as old as the core, because it was built later as the city grew. As the name might suggest, Wallside's the district that runs along the inside of the Great Wall that surrounds the city. It's mostly farmers and other laborers that live down there. They ain't got quite as much space, but it's cheaper, so it all works out. Frank's just the latest owner of the old Hersenove Manor. And he's the worst. Simply the worst. But it's been a problem since the Hosono family ran out of heirs. There's no wrong the Cartwrights have been trying to write for decades. And hence, well, I need help. He's just another slick, rude, neon corporate hack. Full of himself and just awful. I mean, the core is history itself. Cads like him don't belong here. I was right to talk to you about this. The last Hossanov was Sahar. Sad tale there. <sighs> By all accounts, when she lost her last grandchild around 40 years ago, well, it broke her. She packed up and just plain left the estate. Built some farm far from Aquila City and the protection of its walls. It didn't take long before the Ashta overran the farm, and just like that, no more Hossanovs. The Hossanovs were one of the early families that took to making a living in space. Very industrious, mainly miners. They settled Planetside in the earliest days of Aquila City. They helped good old Solomon Co. a time or two. But they didn't fare well living in full gravity after a couple of generations in zero-g. Lots of health issues. Eventually a string of just terrible luck left only lonely old Sahar Hassanov. Poor lady. And those that were healthy kept leaving Aquila. The call of the stars. Deadly as sin. My granddad warned her over and over it wasn't safe. So I need someone to go to the old Sahar farm, brave the Ashta, and see if she left a will. I swear I'll honor her wishes. Akila owes her family that much. And if it happens to kick Mr. Big Shot out of the core, well, that'll be a bonus. Sahar left no heirs. No instructions. So everything the Hassanovs owned was in limbo. What happened to the estate? Well, you'd have to be a lawyer to make heads or tails of it. 
but eventually it wound up on the open market, so slick neon corporate shills could grace our community. If she named any heir, we could get the estate back where it belongs. See things made right. You are a blessing. Zahar's farm is elsewhere on the planet. If you can't handle Ashta, please just don't go. I don't want this whole sordid story to have more tragedy. Be careful, and look out for yourself. Having a good one? Such power! It's incredible!
you're handling the messy work. Thank <laughs> you. 